Uh, the run game obviously was doing great Saturday night, but you did do some different things in the past game. How did you evaluate what, how that came out? Uh, yeah, I think we didn't uh, – I don't think we intensely tried anything new in the passing game. I just think it was just the way the game was, was going on. And, you know, we know, you, as I said many times, there are going to be times where you have to throw the football, whether it's how they're playing you defensively or – you know, the score of the game or the situation. Um, so we, I mean, that it might not look like that, but in, in practice we kind of probably are 50-50 uh, in what we work on. And we'll get better uh, in that passing game as, as we get more experience and, and uh, get it refined. What sort of things maybe specifically did Texas and Alabama kind of do well on that to move the ball through the air on that LSU defense? Uh, it, they had some really good dudes. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, you see the wide outs of that quarterback at Alabama? And uh, Texas got some pretty talented ones too. I think that was the first time. Whew, these dudes can run. So that, that was a big part of it, I think, more than anything else. I, I think they, you know, you look at Alabama, there's nobody they had not thrown the ball well against. You know, and, you know, they got good schemes, too. And they uh, – but LSU competed. you you got to look at their secondary. Is this, LSU secondary is as talented as uh, there is in college football. And uh, they and they run really – there's every position they have on defense, they run really well. So even if they have – somebody may have a step on them, their recovery and their ability to play the ball in the air is as good as I've seen, you know, the – the freshman 24 is, is as good as playing the ball in the air and man coverage as any, any corner I've seen in a long time. So they've, they're really talented. They recover well. And, and uh, if you're open, you're not open for long. And that's what's so impressive with you know, some of the guys like Alabama. They run by you. And uh, they, got a, they got a couple of big plays on them. But, you know, we, you know, I think we got some talented receivers, but they're young and they're still learning to play. And, uh, but there's going to be – I would be sh shocked if they go cover zero and, you know, force us to pitch and catch a little bit. And that's why we're working hard on it. Mentioned the uh, inexperienced receiver, the, the youth there. Has that affected your play calling in the past game or has your ratio been about what you thought it would be this season? You know, I didn't uh, have any preconceived notions on what, what the ratio is. I knew we met, you know, we wanted to work hard on running the football and and uh, I don't know, it's philosophically it's probably easier to start with that than maybe is in a past game, but uh, I don't I don't know if, uh, you know, we've, we're, we're pretty young at all the positions, so, you know, we're young at quarterback, young at running back and and young up front, so I think the wide outs, you know, that, that they're Hadn't played a whole lot. Now a lot of guys have played a whole lot, other than Braylon a little bit, who's been banged up, and um, and Elijah. But they've gotten better, and we've got a lot of confidence in them. So we we can throw, and I've seen it. That's the encouraging part is we've seen signs of it both in the games and in practice that we're going to get better with that. And you know I don't particularly like oh we got to be able to throw it this many times or run it this many times. It's just what we got to do to score and how are we complementing complementing you know, team-wise in the game. You know, there's maybe times where we need a longer drive to give our defense a rest. Or if you can control the game, running the football, you know, that it keeps your defense a little bit uh, off the field a little bit more too in, in that regard. But we're just doing whatever we got to do to get a first down and score points. And that's kind of been the, the, the whole battle. But like I said earlier, you know, it's, we, we will be able to throw the football better. I think as these guys get more experience in the uh, – throughout obviously this season, but in the future too. And um, that'll be a point of emphasis for us certainly going forward. Y'all have run pretty well against some teams that statistically have been pretty good defensively. What, and LSU is again, what, uh, what stands out to you about them and their run defense? Well, the first thing is the the size of the guys up front. They play a, a similar front to what we do and a lot of teams in our league do, but they're just, I mean, the nose guard, the starter and the backup has got about 700 pounds right there. 
of guys who are trying to move, and they're big on the edges. You know, they're a big, big front, and nobody really moves them. You know, they, they're very stout against the run, and, and they hold the point a little bit. And so we've had times this year where I wish we could get more movement and, uh, and all that, and our you know, Coach McNeil has done a great job with the guys up front. But, you know, we've struggled with that at times, of getting some movement off the, you know, the guys off the first level. Uh, LSU's not really let anybody from what we've seen so far, again, with the beginning of the week. Nobody's moving those guys up front. You know, they're stout and they're strong. And so we've, we've got to come up with a way to do that and try to run the football some. Uh, you know, they'll watch the film and say, these guys run the inside zone a whole bunch. I think 19 of our last 20 plays in the last game was, was uh, some version of the inside zone. But uh, they're really good against it.